in this module we shall continue with our discussion on islamic microfinance in the previous module we look into a model of islamic microfinance which was based on mudaraba in this module we shall look at a musharaka based model obviously there would be close similarities between mudaraba based model and musharaka based model given that both mudaraba and musharaka they lie within the same genre of islamic contract i e they are investment related contracts in case of mudaraba there is profit sharing in case of musharaka there is profit and loss sharing so in case of islamic microfinance based on musharaka the finance provider provides cash to the recipient on musharaka basis so this is a feature quite similar to the mudaraba model as well and at that time we said that this feature of mudaraba model is quite similar to the interest based conventional microfinance as well i e provision of cash finance provider contributes normally a higher share of investment because the finance recipient the other partner is actually quite poor his predicament is that he doesn't have money so if you say let's go for 50 50 or an arrangement like this one this would not be attractive for the finance recipient so normally the microfinance provider on the basis of musharaka would provide 90% of the money required to do the business and the remaining 10% which is a nominal kind of uh, amount this is provided by the finance recipient this is used instead of mudaraba because the mudaraba based islamic micro musharaka based islamic microfinance company may want to have some kind of commitment of the finance recipient agar bas paise de diye jaye aur koi commitment na ho then there is quite possibility that the party would be losing the money provided by the microfinance company so these two partners they share profit in accordance with a pre agreed profit distribution ratio which could be 50 50 or it could be any other ratio as well at the end the musharaka entity is wound up and at that time it is an expectation that the finance recipient would have sustained their business so let's look at a generic model of islamic microfinance based on musharaka so we have islamic microfinance provider it offers 50000 as finance to a recipient who also contributes 10000 in the business so the 60000 is the total musharaka capital 50000 provided by islamic microfinance company and 10000 provided by the recipient of course in this case the recipient does the business islamic microfinance provider could be a silent partner remember there is a provision in case of musharaka for one of the parties or if there are more than two parties there is a provision for some of the parties to a musharaka to remain silent partners i e they do not get themselves involved in running of the business now after one month if the income revenue generated by the business is 120 1000 and if we take away the cost which were 60000 
then if the profit distribution ratio is 50 50 between the islamic microfinance provider and the recipient then 30000 would go to islamic microfinance provider and the other 30000 would be retained by the recipient of course as i mentioned this is an exaggerated example in real practice the share of the profit going to the islamic microfinance provider is far less than 50% so in this example where 60000 was used as musharaka capital and if the revenue was 100000 after one month and if we take away 60 40000 is the profit so the profit distribution ratio could be such that 5000 goes to the islamic microfinance provider and 35000 is kept by the recipient like in our previous example on mudaraba if this continues for 12 months i'm using 12 months it could be 12 months 18 months because normally there is fluctuation in this profit or revenue in some months the profit share of the uh, islamic microfinance provider could be only 3k so it can take 12 months 15 months 18 months a time which allows islamic microfinance provider to retrieve its capital plus a decent return could be 10 percent could be 20 percent could be 30 percent whatever is the target at that point in time islamic microfinance provider would like to exit and the exit takes place in a very compassionate manner islamic microfinance provider would not like to insist on getting its share in the investment back why again because the objective is to help this recipient to have a sustainable source of income now this kind of usage of islamic microfinance is bringing a lot of goodwill to islamic banking and finance industry especially if you go to indonesia there are a number of islamic microfinance institutions with different names one form is called baitul mal wa tamwil all over indonesia indonesia is a huge country by the way if we take into account the sea as well indonesia is probably bigger than united states of america it has got so many islands so a lot of its land is actually in the form of sea it has free time zones within the country so in jakarta there could be different time and in a distant uh, uh, island there could be another time so in indonesia islamic microfinance is becoming very popular and actually this is playing a very important role in bringing change in the lives of the poor people 